Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends, neighbors, relatives, and anybody else that we've managed to co-works to come in tonight. And welcome to what is about the 17th or 18th production of your Villaggio players. Now, in every single production, I have promised the audience that we will entertain you. I give you that same promise tonight. We will entertain you. I don't have to really do it. The music does it for me. And most of you are going to be familiar with the music. And therefore, if you're so familiar that you're inclined to sing, Joy will be very unhappy. But she'll let you. But at the end, we, you will join in. And that's certain. But a few things. First of all, remember your cell phones. Also, I'll get shot otherwise if I don't announce it. Should there be a fire drill or a fire, and I've had fire drills, not here but elsewhere, there's an exit on my right and one on my left, and those are the only two that lead to the outer building. Uh, don't go out, don't, don't panic and go out the rear doors that you came in because that keeps you in the building. So please be aware of those few things. Now, we have a new ingredient with us. And that ingredient is a woman that we have imported all the way from Boynton Beach Boulevard. Ms. Joy Parks is our musical director. And with her, our two able assistants, Joe Cassano on the guitar, and Jeff Brown with the sticks. And these three comprise what is now known as the Villaggio Philharmonic. This is my daughter's wedding, which is a very strange affair for me because Judy and I raised three sons and now have six grandsons we don't know from skirts. So this, for me, is the only way that I can get a daughter's wedding, and I have one. Another thing that you should be aware of, I cannot dim these lights. So I can turn them off and I can turn to a different uh, color, but I can't, turn, I can't dim them. So therefore, when you see blue light, that's our dimming. And we will change scenes with the dim light and allow you to watch our backs as we move furniture or whatever else. So that's important. Now, another thing, if you do read the program, you'll see that I am listed as the director. It started out that way. And Judy Root joined me as choreographer and costumer. But I want you to be aware of the fact that Judy has done such yeoman work and put in such time and such effort into this show that you'll find in the playbill she is also listed as director. And she is certainly equal, if not more equal, than I am for this program. So please enjoy that. There will be, of course, a 15-minute intermission after Act One. Act one runs a little over an hour. Act two runs about 32 or 33 minutes. So you should be aware of that. At this point, then, I turn the show over to Joy Maestro, if you please.
and Harry Wright. Good luck. Sophie. Sophie. Sally. Lisa. Oh. Oh. How are you? Oh, where have you been? I thought you'd be here hours ago. Well, we missed our flight, and then we I had to get another one, and we almost missed that one, too because I could not get this lovely one here out of the bathroom. <laughs> well, I have to be healthy for the wedding tomorrow, don't I? Lisa. Allie. Lisa. Sophie. Allie. Oh, we brought so much stuff, like we're here for a month. Uh -huh. huh. so, so where is he, your Sky? We're dying to meet him. Don't worry. There's plenty of time to meet him. The word's out all over the place about this wedding. A white wedding. It's you. When did you become a virgin again? When you became a virgin again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just like to say that this is going to be the event of the decade. And I wouldn't even miss it for my own wedding. Aww. But how's Donna? I mean, how's your mom? I bet Donna's going crazy over this whole thing. Sure she is. But listen, girls, I have a secret, and you're the only ones I can tell. <gasps> my God, Sophie, you're pregnant? No. I invited my dad to my wedding. Your dad? <gasps> so, this guy, oh, no. <laughs> Look. I you did found your dad at well, last? Not exactly. I found this in mom's desk. Oh, we gotta see what he looks like. But Sophie, you shouldn't be reading your mom's diary. She should be reading yours. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, there's no pictures in here. This is only half a diary. I know, but look at the dates. March 1993. This is the one she kept the year she was pregnant with me. You know, how she won't talk about my dad, so she can't remember anything. Listen, March 17th, what a night. After the show, Sam rode me all over the little island. We danced on the beach, and we kissed on the beach, and da, 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 da. Ooh, I bet that got a little itchy with sand all over your body laying down. Mm. Dot, 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 dot. It's what they did in the olden days. <laughs> Sam's the one. I know he is. I I've never felt like this before. Honey, honey, how he thrills me. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Honey, honey, nearly killed me. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Heard about him before. I wanted to know. Dad? Well, I thought so. And, and I really wanted it to be so. But the plot thickens. Sam told Mom he was going home to get married. Oh, that's what you get. Typical, selfish, lousy man. Well, wait, girl, slow down. Because then I found this. Come here. March 18th. What a night. I was still feeling depressed about Sam when after the show, Bill <laughs> rents a motorboat, and I took him over to Little Island. <laughs> One thing led to another, and dot, 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 dot. Bill? I'm not finished yet. Listen, listen. What a night. Harry turns up out of the blue, so I said I would show him the Little Island. I needed my head examined. 
but he was so sweet and I couldn't help myself and da 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 da. Yes, the sperm donor has a name. <laughs> well, three names: Sam, Bill, and Harry. And they're all coming to the wedding. My God, Sophie, do they know? Of course not. What do you say to a total stranger? Come to my wedding? You might be my dad. No, they think Donna sent the invitations. And after what we just read, I'm not surprised they all said yes. <laughs> honey, touch me, baby. Uh huh. Honey, honey. Honey, to say the least, you're a doggone beast. Sophie, you're out of your mind. The aisle is just not big enough for three dads. Oh, she's right. Are you sure about this? Sure, I am. I want a perfect wedding, and I want my dad to give me away. And and you're my best friends, and you have to help me. You can't let mom know what I'm doing. You got to keep her out of the way. Well, she's bound to find out sooner or later. Well, I don't want her frightening them off before I get a chance to know who they are. And if I find out who they are right away, you have to keep the other two busy. And what if you don't know who he is? Then I've got 24 hours to find out. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey, how you thrill me. Uh huh, honey, honey. Honey, honey, nearly kills me. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Heard about him before. Wanted to know some more. Now I'm about to see what he means to me. Oh, he makes me crazy. Oh, Rosie. One line. <laughs> Damn, heels. <laughs> Well, you wore them. <laughs> I don't know what you expected. A chauffeured limousine at the water's edge? Well, Donna knows I don't do walking. <laughs> well, look what the tide's washed in. <laughs> For one night. And one night only. It's, it's Donna, Donna and the Dynamos. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good to Let's see, see you. you. So how's the mother of the bride? Oh, all the better to see the two of you. <laughs> Tanya, 15 long years. I know, darling. Just blame it on my love for those millionaires. <laughs> but you, you look amazing and always ready to swing. Well, I've been chained to this place and have constant battles with the bank managers. I pity the poor bank manager. <laughs> Why don't you just seduce him? <laughs> Auntie Rosie. <gasps> Sophie Sheridan. You get more gorgeous every time I see you. Give me a big kiss for coming all this way for your wedding. Mm. Precious. I bet you don't remember me. I don't know how she could, all that surgery. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Auntie Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my baby and her whole life ahead of her. Okay, Mom, I'm not joining the Foreign Legion. I'm just getting married. <laughs> well, in my day, they didn't get married at 25. <laughs> in our day, they didn't get married at all. Mm. A white wedding. I don't know what she was thinking. <laughs> well, don't blame me. Donna, it wasn't my idea. Girls, meet the leading man at tomorrow's wedding. Oh. Sky, Ta Rosie, and Tanya, my one-time band, backup band, and all-time good friends. Oh. <laughs> hey, handsome. How do you do? Hi. Oh. You know, you're not so bad looking yourself. Oh, no You know, kidding. I've heard a lot about the two of you. <laughs> well, all bad, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Donna... The taverna looks beautiful. Mm. Well, we've got Sky to thank for that. <laughs> what have you been up to? 
You haven't been here that long, have you? No. I came here from New York to escape that crazy Wall Street money machine. And I'm never going back. Why? I'm burnt out. Hmm. Well, you should see what he's done to my world. He's got me online. You? Ha! Yes! Email, wired up, the whole enchilada. Well, you know what, Diana? It was time you moved into the modern world. No more, no more money under that mattress. <laughs> yeah, well, just invent me a machine that'll make the beds. I know you. You'd fall right behind it and do it all over again. <laughs> Are you joking? I'm more than ready to put my feet up hmm. until my Prince Charming arrives. Now you're talking. Hey, Tanya, you think there's a few of your ex-husbands hanging around? I don't think so, darling. I didn't leave them enough money, not even to play a slot machine. Uh, uh. Yeah, well, this is going to be my jackpot. I need a break. I need a vacation. I've been running this place for 25 years, and I never had a day off. my passion. They relieve me of the horrors of the everyday world. Hey, you want to hear something really interesting? You see this taverna? I'm rather impressed. I was picturing an old goat hut here. I dreaded bedding down with the goats. You mean goats over camels? They are the dirtiest. Hey, sorry to spoil the travel log, Indiana. But the point is, this is my taverna. I built this. Well, I designed it. I drew up the plans. Had to be 25 years ago. 
I can't believe she's gone and built the darn thing. Who? Donna, who else? This is something I just scribbled on the back of an old menu. How do you know it's yours? You know, buildings are like babies. You always know your own. I don't know anything about babies. Ah, the happy wanderer over there. Were you born here? No, I was born in Tidville, Wisconsin. But my mother was Greek. And the last time I was in Greece was to visit my great aunt Sophia. And that was 25 years ago. So now you can write about Sam's Taverna, and the tourists will flock here. Yeah, maybe by then they'll have some staff here. Where is everybody? Oh. Good afternoon. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm Bill Austin. You have a room for me? Bill, Bill Austin? Yeah, Bright, Harry Bright. Harry? So you must be... Sam Carmichael, yeah. Oh. You were expecting us. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes, of course. I, I'll go get the keys. Thank you. I hope I get a chance to speak a little Greek. Oh, yeah? I haven't spoken it in 25 years. 25 years. Wait a minute now. This is beginning to sound a bit like a setup. Well, now, Bill, here's a story for you. Three men, friends, strangers, receive an invitation to a wedding. They're invited to a place that they haven't visited for 25 years by a woman they haven't seen for 25 years. Why are they here? That's not bad. Hey, Harry, what's your excuse? What's throwing you away from Wall Street? You know, for my part, Donna's invitation brought back many happy memories. You know, like I'm looking at that guitar over there. I know that guitar. It's a Gordon Bennett. And look, guys, I want to show you something. Look, HB. That stands for headbanger. That's what they called me in those days. Headbanger. Watch. And look, DS. DS. That stands for Donna Sheridan. I bought this guitar for Donna for 10 bucks and my Johnny Rotten t-shirt. Now, who says I'm an unadventurous old stick in the mud? Who says that? My other half. A fast car and a season ticket to the opera isn't enough for some people. They want the great white hunter too. Well, I can do spontaneity. That's why I'm here. Donna knew my wild side. I was in my sixth semester in Paris when I met her, dropped everything, and followed her to Greece. Let's see, spontaneity. I can do this. Thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. We used to sing that one. Thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who can live without it? Donna's daughter. Yeah. I thought she looked familiar, so you're Sophia. It's just Sophie. Well, Sophie's pretty. I had a great aunt Sophia. I I'm named after a Sophia. Where's Donna? I want to see her. I want to thank her for the invitation. You know, it was very kind of her to remember oh, us. Oh, oh, no, you mustn't. Uh, uh, she doesn't know. I sent the invitation. To you. You're a secret. Well, she's always talking about her friends from the old days, and, and I thought she'd just be thrilled if I invited you all, but she got herself into such a state over this wedding, and she's not expecting guests, and she'll, she'll hyperventilate. So, so you're trying to tell us that Donna didn't invite us to the wedding? No, no, so just pretend you're here for a, a vacation, and she'll get a lovely surprise when she sees you all, and then we'll let her in on the secret of the wedding. I'm not sure about this. So I say thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. 
I hate to spoil your lovely surprise, but the last time I saw your mother, she told me she never wanted to see me again. So if it was you that sent me this invitation, I'm still not welcome. But, but that was years ago, and, and I want you here. Why? Because it's my wedding, and, and I want everybody to, to just be friends. That's all. Well, you are a little minx. You're worse than your mother. I'm glad you never met my boys. You'd ruin them. Your boys? You have boys? Yes, I have two. I'd love to bring them here someday. Like you used to bring my mother? on the island. I'll check on your rooms now. <laughs> Excuse me. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright, <gasps> Fernando. There was something there for you and me for... What Donna? Bill? Bill? Donna? He gave me Harry! Hi. You!
Pinch you? Get your hands, keep your hands to yourself. You've changed your tune. Well, what the hell are you doing here, Sam? And what are the rest of you doing here? I, I, I'm just so amazed to see all of you. Well, I'm doing an article for a magazine. And I'm here for a spontaneous holiday. And uh, I just stopped in to say hi. Shame. We don't have any more rooms. You know, it's that time of year. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I booked ahead. Well, that's so inconvenient. Why? Because one of the local girls is getting married this weekend, and I just don't have the staff to cope with all of you. You'd be much happier on the mainland. Uh, no, no, no. Bill's here is used to roughing it. An old headbanger over there, he's the last word in spontaneous. And what about you? Me? Well, you know, I came to see the island and... and... <sighs> Well, I'd love to stand around and chew over old times, but uh, I think I'll go and clean out my handbag or something. Age has not withered her. I was expecting a rather stout matron. No, she's still Donna. That's the only thing I see in the bedroom. Hmm. We can't both sleep on that. And who's going to blow it up? Well, I'll choose you who blows it up. Okay. What, what do, you do you take? I'll take evens. Okay, I got odds. One Once, takes twice, it. three, shoot! Ha <laughs> ha! I won. Go blow. Ah, oh, come help me. Such a diva, she needs know. help, Dan. <laughs> don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, right. we'll try, honey. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. That is it. Listen, let's have the help of blow this up. Okay. okay. Oh, thanks. Let's put it oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what are you wearing for the wedding? Just a minute. Get it out of my luggage. Okay. Ta-da! You are joking. What? Go on, say it. Well. Well. <laughs> what? You could be making a statement on the duty of wedlock with that. You'd know more about that than I would. Oh, Rosie, don't worry. Someday you'll meet your Mr. Wright. I have. I did. 
and all they wanted to do was settle down and have babies. <coughs> no <laughs> thanks. I know. You know, children today think that, I mean, who would have thought that Donna, an icon for women's independence, would have a daughter getting married at 25? White weddings are trendy. I know. What mm. is it with these kids? Do you remember those sweatshirts we used to wear that said marriage was an, an institution, institution for, for people, people who, who belong, belong in, in an, an institution? institution. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, the ladies today think their greatest achievement is getting a man. Tanya, you had three husbands. Oh, I rest my case. So we're trunk. Yeah, come, let's oh. look. <laughs> what ah. do we have here? <gasps> oh. We'll put this here. Okay. And put that on. It's so pretty. I'm going to put this here. See. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Do you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> Used to fit me. Oh, gosh. Oh. I remember those days. How much fun. I don't know. Let me see. <gasps> look, 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 look at the poster. Look at us. Uh, we oh. were so young. I can't imagine what the girls in my restaurant would say about those costumes. That's a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, Rosie, we should do a number at the hen party tonight. Well, I, I'd like to, but I think I have to let out a few of the scenes. <laughs> Where's Sophie? I don't know. I haven't seen her. I wife. must find her. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, God, this is all I need. Trunk. Trunk. What? I found it in the trunk. Hmm. You should hang it in the bar and oh, show oh, Sophie oh, what a funky mom oh, she's no, got. Oh, no, give it here. Give it here. Burn it. I never want to see it again. Whoa. What's up? What's happened? Uh, this has got to be some sort of a joke. Pretty soon I'll wake up and they'll all have gone away. Donna, what is it? <sighs> Nothing. Just leave me alone. Uh, it, I knew this was going to happen. It had to happen now. I'm sorry I was such a stupid little idiot. Take a deep breath, tell me what's wrong. I have never seen such sorrow in your eyes, and the wedding is tomorrow. Thank you. 
It's her dad. Who's dad? Sophie's. Remember I always told you I thought it was Sam? Sam, the architect who went home to get married? Ah, typical selfish male. Well, I'm not so sure it was him. You see, there were a couple of others. Whoa. Ha. <laughs> you. Donna, are you sure? You should have told us. You shady lady! <laughs> well... Why didn't you tell us? Try that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think I'd ever have to tell you. I, who would have thought that all three would be sitting in my bar the day before my daughter's wedding? They're sitting in the bar? Let me see. I don't see anybody in the bar. There's nobody in the bar. There's nobody in the bar. Donna, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You think I wouldn't know my daughter's dad? Bill, Harry, and Sam. <laughs> Ye gods, why are they here? This is such a horrible trick of fate. <laughs> it's the gods. It's the gods. That's Greek, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Donna, what is it? Do they know? No, I never told anyone. I mean, why are they here spoiling Sophie's wedding? You, didn't keen, you weren't too keen on this wedding, as I, I remember. I won't let them spoil this wedding. They have no right to be here. Besides, what have they ever done for their daughter? Be fair, Donna. They didn't even know she existed. And they don't need to know. I have done a damn good job of bringing up Sophie all by myself. Well, listen. Tonight's the male-free zone. Women only. So tomorrow, Tanya and I will take them fishing. Fishing? Oh, please. Well, what else do you suggest we do with three men? That does take me back. <laughs> hmm, typical. I'll take the skinny one. I'll handle the other two. Of course. You dumb bat. You should have told us. Well, I guess I deserve that. <gasps> you sound just like your mother. <laughs> I do not. Oh, yes, you do. Whatever happened to Donna, the soul and cheese of the party. <laughs> The Rock Chick Supremo! <laughs> she grew up. <sighs> That's all. Well, grow back down. You have nothing to be ashamed of.
anywhere now where are you going tonight's my stag party it's my last night of freedom is that how you see it your last night of freedom well what i mean is it's the last night before the greatest adventure of my life come here give me a hug come on no pen no pen oh sky you know how I wanted to find my dad? We've been through that a thousand times before. You don't need your dad. You've got me, all right? All right. Sky, no matter what happens, you'll never leave me, will you? Are you crazy? You've turned my world upside down. <laughs>